I'm blue if I was green I would die if I was green I would die if I was green I would die anyway what's up badass nerds or whatever the fuck you want to call yourself this is barely a channel I uh, like the last videos thanks for watching them by the way uh, have like seven views so whatever like I don't I, I I give up on pretending to be happy in situations where I'm not this uh, <laughs> oh my god this rant doesn't even make sense yet but it probably won't at all ever but here we go. Uh, fuck everything. I hate this place. I'm over this fucking place. Oh my god. If I had to see one more old dude with his fucking bathroom door open so I can see him taking a shit, I'm gonna lose my shit. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Close the goddamn door. I chimed in with a hasn't it? Closing the goddamn door. I know the words. I just got tongue tied. Anyway, fuck. I just found out that my social worker, who has been working with me since I've been at my apartment, who used to be my uh, service coordinator at my apartment, I found out that she quit two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Nobody told me that she quit two weeks ago. Nobody s thought to say, oh, by the way, uh, yeah, your social worker, she's gonna quit in a little while. No, they didn't even fucking tell me when she quit. God damn it. Are you, uh, I, uh, what the fuck is fucking wrong with everything? For serious. I'm so not joking. I I look like I'm joking, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not happy at all. I and to top it all off, these fucking people are like trying to cover up this shit that was done to me. That I it, it's basically neglect or abuse like it falls under one of those categories not neglect basically abuse so here's what fucking happened last friday a week ago i went out on an appointment i was supposed to get my tooth pulled and but because i wanted to be put it under because it was a fucking wisdom tooth and normal people get put under they made me seem like a psychopath because i wanted to get put under i'm like i've had enough pain in my life can you please just knock me the fuck out? And so, I apparently had to do at a hospital. And the dentist was the dentist that I said fuck you to. So, already I was not happy. We were there for like six hours waiting for them to take me in. Uh, so, yeah, I got more and more anxious kept telling them, can you please give me something for my fucking anxiety before I rip my fucking eyes out. And they're like, yeah, 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 you're fine. Fuckity fuck. I'm like, you people think that just because I can't get out of this goddamn bed that I don't matter. And they're just like, that's not true. Uh, then do something. So we're there for six hours. Then my dumbass, mullet ass, fucking aide that's with me is like, oh, they're not gonna pick us up if it's too late, if it's after six. So, literally, seconds before they're gonna take me into the operating room, seconds before they're giving, gonna give me anxiety meds through my IV that they already put in that took like three or four tries, so I've got bruises all over my arms now. She says, nope, can't do it. I'm like, Fuck you, we're not doing it. Are you kidding me? 
and she's like, nope, we're not going to be able to get out of here if we don't go now. And the doctor's like, yeah, so you can't sleep over here, uh, cause you'll, the insurance won't pay for it and you'll have to like pay thousands of dollars if you sleep here. And I'm like, what? And so we, I, I'm just, I'm just so fucking done with the day. I'm just like, I just wasted six hours of my life that could have been put to better use. Probably wouldn't have been, but what the fuck ever. So, this fucking lady, the aide, I'm just so pissed off. She's like, we're going to put your shirt and your bra back on. I had pants on, but I had a gown on. I'm like, no, leave the gown on me. I don't care. Because I was going to put a sweatshirt over top of it. Which, she didn't even grab the warm one because she rushed me at the goddamn door without even a fucking cell phone. So I could have called my parents to come get me after my surgery so that I didn't have to sleep there. But no, I had to leave without a cell phone. So, I was livid. So, she's like, no, you're not going anywhere in a gown. I'm like, I don't care, don't touch me. Don't touch me. And she's like, no. And so she starts ripping the gown off me. I'm fighting as hard as I can for her to like, I'm not hitting her because I don't do that. I don't do that bullshit so they can justify using, uh, like, what, what, what am I searching for? Using combative, uh, fuck. You <sighs> using restraint. There we go. Uh, I don't do anything so they can justify uh, restraining me uh, with themselves or their arms or whatever. I I don't hit people because I'm not a toddler and I wasn't. I, I'm of sound mind, so I'm not gonna just sit there and slap you like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, <clears throat> I'm fighting as hard as I can for her not to take the gown off me. She just rips the thing off me like I am a baby and I don't get to say what's done to me. So, I cross my arms trying to defy her because at this point I'm just pissed. I don't care why I wanted to not, why I didn't want to take the gown off. It was my choice. I have the right to make that choice. Don't ask me why couldn't I just take the gown off. It was my choice. That's all I have, okay? So at this point I'm crossing my arms naked from the waist up so that she can't get the fucking bra and shirt on me. She grabs me, my arms, as hard as she can, wrenches them apart, and I'm like, ow, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Stop manhandling me. And the nurses outside of the curtain could definitely hear this, yet they do nothing because fucking nurses and hospitals and fucking they're all just together in this goddamn fucking now I sound like this uh, conspiracy theory but whatever it basically is so I'm yelling like you're hurting me stop doing this and nobody does a goddamn thing she's just manhandling me and just like taking away my right to freedom, my right to choice, and taking advantage of the fact that she can overpower me because I am handicapped. That is what I have a fucking problem with, all right? It's not with the fact that she made me put clothes on. It's with the fact that she took advantage, the fact that she knew that she could overpower me, and she did that because I am handicapped. 
Who the fuck does that? I, I'm, I could have worn the gown. I would have been fine. It was tied in the back. I would have had a hoodie over my top of myself. Not a good one, because she grabbed the shitty one when she was offered two choices of a warm one and a shitty one I got when I was 16 years old. She chose the goddamn shitty one because she's a dumb mullet head bitch. And I reported this and of course nothing was done. I asked about it a couple of days ago and they're like, we never saw a report about this and we can't do anything because we're like overnight supervisor so I don't know what to do and that's my story and what the fuck am I, can I get some fucking feedback on how fucked up this is and if you and I swear to god if one of you tells me that I should have just gave in and put the fucking gown on or taken the gown off whatever I will lose my shit so stay nerdy badass I don't give a fuck anymore you people do what you want you're obviously not watching my videos cuz all you care about is drama and it's like oh I might be dying if that's my title you're like oh let's watch this shit but if it's like some legit shit that's like near and dear to my heart you're like fuck that so, whatever. Do what you want. Fuck you. Or don't fuck you. If you're a nice person. Kinda, now I feel bad. But whatever. I'm just over this YouTube shit. And this fucking nursing home shit. And I'm so done with this goddamn life.